In this video, we are going to talk about what is an NFT, so before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for the future updates. NFTs, non-fungible tokens, can represent ownership in almost anything, from digital art to virtual real estate. It has often proved hard to demonstrate rights in the digital asset space, but with the introduction of NFTs, demonstrating ownership has been safer and easier. Contrary to Bitcoin or dollars, NFTs are described as non-fungible because each one is unique and has its own value. Here's the description of what is an NFT. Let's start. Where to next? While the history of NFTs is intriguing, the future of NFTs has endless opportunities as the new space transitions from raw and experimental to exceedingly more useful and mainstream. Through tokenization, programmability, collaboration, royalties, and more direct connections between artists and collectors, NFTs may soon be a technology vital to everyday life. Concepts like DAOs, token-based metaverses, community-owned financial protocols, and NFT art were small-scale experiments just a few years ago. Now they represent multi-billion dollar communities that combine protocol-driven design, economics, and governance as global collectives on the internet. It may be challenging to predict the future, but for digital art collecting, it's safe to say we have yet to imagine the extent of what will emerge in decades to come. The NFT Explosion between 2018 and 2021 NFTs slowly move into public awareness before exploding into mainstream adoption in early 2021. The seemingly underground movement that was taking the crypto community by storm has slowly been transitioning into more mainstream art. This transition reached an inflection point in Valentine's Day 2018 when artist Kevin Abbas partnered with Gifto for a charitable auction. The partnership led to a $1 million transaction of a beautiful piece of crypto art called the Forever Rose. Mr. Abbas continued to raise the stakes when he started using a combination of the Ethereum blockchain with his blood in a project called IMA Coin. Abbas has not been the only artist adopting this exciting form of expression. It has slowly been gaining traction with artists exciting to push their creative boundaries. The NFT market is more efficient and more liquid than incumbent methods of transferring assets. Numerous platforms have surfaced online, each hosting differentiators for creators and collectors alike. The main area of disruption is focused on limiting centralized fees where traditional art brokers, auction houses, often take up to 40%. OpenSea is considered the largest marketplace for art, music, domain names, collectibles, and trading cards. Mintable's platform has its main focus on making the minting process super straightforward for the creators. Portion is positioning itself to be an NFT platform that bridges NFTs, DeFi, and DAOs where the holders of the governance token dollar PRT, the community, are in charge. Other platforms like Niftex allows users to buy fractions of NFTs or shards, which are ERC20 tokens representing a piece of the full NFT. 2017 CryptoPunks. As rare peeps trading picked up, John Watkinson and Matt Hall, the creators of Larva Labs, created unique characters generated on the Ethereum blockchain. No two characters would be the same and they would be limited to 10,000. The project name, CryptoPunks, was referenced to an experiment with Bitcoin in the 1990s and can be described as an ERC721 and ERC20 hybrid. 2016. Rare Peeps on Counterparty In 2016, memes entered the blockchain. In October of 2016, memes started to make their way onto the Counterparty platform. People started to add assets to a particular meme called Rare Peeps. Rare Peeps are a meme featuring an interesting frog character that has acquired an intense fanbase over the years. What started out to be a comic character named Peppa the Frog, has now steadily become an internet sensation as one of the most popular memes. 2016, Trading Cards on Counterparty In August 2016 new trends began to emerge. Counterparty teamed up with Force of Will, a popular trading card game, and launched their cards on the Counterparty platform. Behind Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Magic, Force of Will was the fourth-ranked card game in North America according to sales volume. What do you think of our video? Let us know in the comments section below.
If you enjoyed this video be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.